So long. What? Another one? Be gone! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered enough. Ugh. Ye death? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? 
from. Where? I'll tell ye where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. Me last started wailing. What's these tears, I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. There to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Not one of the Baron's men, are you? Come on, Roach. Don't you look at me. Went to the forest for brushwood yesterday. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it. From a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell them about me, please. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Monster was fierce. Took two witchers to take it down. That's twain you two. This and didn't want coin, so you've none to quarrel over. Of course. So this witcher demanded the traditional reward. One other hallowed witcher's principle you should be aware of then. Yeah? What's that? Any witcher needing a brother's aid must then bury his medallion in the earth. In doing so, he renounces his trade. Then he's got to work for the village elder for a year. You can take him there now. Ooh. A witcher's surely worth two ordinary laborers. At least two. Farewell.
Oh, I. Hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves, ripped their guts out, but left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it, makes it kill. Howls and bellows, nights something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods, though hunger grips the village. Could tend to the beast for you, but not for free. How much do you need? That's the sum we can agree to. Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought... Monster wiped out the whole pack. fur when it rubbed against the trunk. Scent's still there.
Died recently. Wonder what killed it. Another trail. Track's too small for a fiend, though. Both lost loads of blood. Lost loads of blood. Tufts of blood caked fur. Second beast was a different color. Paw prints. Fight lasted a while. Then short. It's gotta be. Probably competed for territory with a fiend. Hmm. Have to lure him here somehow.
I attract the Choit's attention? Smell this five miles away. Beast's sure to show. Just gotta wait in the cave.
Let's go. Slow now. Do not hear the huntsman. That some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to hate my fuck? Ye seek trouble? Oh, I. The Chort was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A Chort? A fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open. Cheers, then, Witcher. Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care now. Said a hog to a hog. Now here's a snipe. I'll shovel you to the car. What? Got any? Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. 
and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Yes? Got any herb? I'm sure I can find... Farewell. I know is what I know. Else bears our run. But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld buses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. 
For indeed, I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, and cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Tub. What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolver's done from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. As for Flask, everyone knows him. They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be... Just taste that. You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Hey, gents, time to go. <laughs> no swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Uh, I. Thanks so much. We'd not have managed on our own. We're not rich. I hope this is enough. Keep it. 
He did more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Drenched again. Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you wanna know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Bowls. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one. So. Let's go. Ah, first. We must. Back off, or I'll kill you. Huh. I'm not a fear to die.
rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a wetch a Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Staingrim. Well, Staingrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Best finish me now, cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long.
siren den. Gotta ruin it for them. Take it easy. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me. in 
Ranger. Greetings. Show me your wares. You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. You look beautiful. 
Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirzek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Venom? Venom. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Parted from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Uh... Since Syria was a little girl. 
I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Would you like to bite? Maybe. Oh, 
We serve her who is murdered. Another one struck and put to second. Gotta be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. Get easy. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. 
I'm not gonna drink. I dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company. Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. What have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese, our wagons full of food to be ready. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krach on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them too. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lugas, Madman Lugas' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know, every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Krak about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn.
I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a... Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Wenches like strong lap. What wenches don't like are bulls. You're lost. Witcher! And visit me at times. Do me a favor. Here's to our n No heart. Yes. We've in Yo land rat.
As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Call Khan! En- Oh! Thoughts I- Yip! Em- Is it bloody? Off! No. Fuck her! Move the- Seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Here's to Arn. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes, we've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct.
Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Mm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales coo. This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. alive. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Door's locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Can feel them. Can close. Everywhere. Mushrooms in here. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, 
sword flailing. I had to calm you. <sighs> Must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Dear Druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Letter bearing Ermion's seal to the Druids warns them about you. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Pinecone. Raymond Marlowe. This a large a biography female. enhanced. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the northern kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Need something? A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Skelliger's Tales about the Wild Hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claw. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it! it. 
We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Get back to the way. I must dress. Kraken creates asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> The claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. No heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We will take them to heart. But not. Let's begin! We have seen Bran off to the beard. He must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. The king must command respect. The king must have bollocks. There's no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skelliger step forward. Distant shore. Across the waves of the sea. Then I left myself behind. Truth for my heart and mind. Across the waves of the sea. You're not a man. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. Just... 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 
Is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ciri, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ship, and I know the last lives, I'm sure of it. When the blood of... Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, that Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well. He swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthink, set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. Giant drove everyone off the isle. I heard a rumor that an unnatural. F it's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant, and my son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvin. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Yalmar might have told someone there his. Take it, Ceres. One. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she might think she might need my help. You the thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres, so yes. I... If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the sh A successful feast on all counts, Kra.
got me high on you. These confident look down on these comments back in their sleep. What he So... Interest. What are you peddling? So long. Mind your manners. 
Greetings, what? Oh, uh, yeah? The best stock. I'll gladly take your tag. Wouldn't. So long.
Not so fast, Roach. Two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us! Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known... So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't. But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you, she's doing it for Siri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. The mask of Urberos belongs to Skellige, and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention... Huh? What was that? No! Jennifer's shoes the mask. Quickly! Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Mutant power! that unicorns damn it yana i saw the foglets i meant how they get here the power of the mask summoned them ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster fortunate he's here then he can jump right in try to tame it 
Realize he won't let this... Oh, I'll survive. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Spot. explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Ready? Use the... Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped. Through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to... Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. 
Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless! It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. We're flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hinderstjar. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. Why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durham, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt won. Speaking of... Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders sent the wraiths. They barged into their huts. Killed... Anyone survive? Or... Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on the but if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak.
We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Ciri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvarg. Morkvarg? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He curse. I can get rid of Morkvar. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvar. So, it's a complex curse. I understand. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvar... He settled in Larvik. You'll find... Where is this hope? Not far from here. North. We and now? Now... Those who venture below. Coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the- That's why he did it. And thus regate trial by all I do not mock- Thanks for your- I understand you and I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred- Custom demands pilgrims- You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the- This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time. My, my. A bite of just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again! Not again! 
He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. Fine. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need... Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. blood. Craven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it. Or it's just locked. Gotta go round. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it.
what broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs. You don't understand. I shredded them, dashed them. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> the moral is. <sighs> You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. Now, only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite. You've got time before the blood's gone. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, but true threat. So, nay, it's the worst. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash. The hunger. Everlasting hunger. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or a... See what I can do. See. I... the easy way. Morkvarg of my own free won't turn. Won't know until you try. <laughs> Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? <laughs> what a witcher ought to. Yen. 
Hey, can you hear me? Roots. So I'm not going to begin. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! Excuse me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at... We'll talk when you get here. That's Yen. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal doesn't look like the talk. Anyone can be made to talk. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not a. Need any ingredient? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a source. All I need is energy, a great deal of energy. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the Garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they... We are about to make some enemies. I don't need everyone to like me. I most value the opinions of those I care about. You, for example. So, can we start? Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. No, I have a I am We're looking for Siri, ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. Curse me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell! Oh, almost! Drowned.
both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know... It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt... What? Why is your mouth agape like your... Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. You're blue... Really, there's no need. Hey! Fine. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But... I'm sorry. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. True. Fine. That pish posh. There's no need. Now... Where are my clothes? I've taken them all... man in the mask. 